So we've already talked about what the word equal means, meaning fair or having the same value. We've explored this question of how can equal groups help me skip count. We talked about that was just a fancy way of saying skip counting. Now I want you to look at these four items that I have here. What do they have in common? If I have cards, if I have eggs, boots, mittens. What do these things have in common? Miranda, what do they have in common? Okay. I want to know what all four objects are related to each other. Not just one. Eliana? They're all groups. They are all groups. All of these things come in groups. So I want you to write the word mitten in your notebook. one mitten. So you get a pack of seven mittens. That'd be kind of cool. Right? When you buy mittens, how many do you usually get? Two. So next to mitten, break two. Because normally mittens come in packs of two. That's too weird. That is exactly what that's called. When we talk about groups of two, we might hear the language pair. That's what that means. A pair is a group of two. Um, those like come in groups. Did I tell you to write come in groups? Then no. I mean, if you want to, go to town, but I didn't ask you to. Alright, let's scoot over. I got boots. Let's write that down. When you buy boots, how those normally come? language of pair. So we know that mittens come in pairs. We know that boots come in pairs. You can probably think of other things that come in groups too. What about eggs? They come in a group. But I usually don't go to the store and buy a pair of eggs. That would be kind of weird. <laughs> what do I normally get when I'm going to the store for some eggs? Right? A dozen. How many? Twelve. Normally I get twelve, which that language is a dozen. I could get a half dozen. Every single 
little sign. Is that what you're doing? Yes, that is exactly what the game fifty two cards pick up. Because guess what? When you go bring and spread all those cards out, there's fifty two of them on the floor. Fifty two cards come in a deck. So we talked about some things that come in a deck. Or not in a deck, in a group. What are some other things that you can think of that come in groups? Go to the grocery store in your mind. Go to Target in your mind. What are some things when you buy them, you don't just buy one? Right oh. Socks. We're not getting just one sock. That would be really unfortunate and really expensive. How many socks do you normally get? Now talk about these big fancy cats. But if you were to find socks for you right then today, how many would you get, Brenda? Yes, I do. How many socks do you normally get? Yes, they're pairs, though, right? They come in groups of two. You might have more than one group of two, you might have six groups of two, but socks come in air. What else do you know that comes in groups? You said banana. Banana. Is it a specific number? Um, sometimes yes, but sometimes no. So we want to, that's a super good example, but we want to pick something that comes in a specific number every single Right? We could get the giant 64 pack. You could get the 100 pack. You could get the 12 pack. But typically your box of crayons, your regular box of crayons, comes, thank you, comes with 20. Thank you. 
back to being something that comes in groups. We could be talking about lots of things. Yeah, paper. Y'all brought me giant packs of paper. There's usually about 50 sheets of paper quickly in a pack. You could get the like 100 ones or the 250 ones for those big packs. Any other thing coming up? Any other number sentence. And just like Liam is back there learning two languages at once, he's learning English and Braille, you're also going to learn two languages at once. English and math. Math is its own language. And what I have found, if you are one of those friends that's like, oh, math is hard, it's because you're not really good at that math language yet. But as we develop our math language skills, we can be fluent in English and in math. We just did the English version. All of this right here, that's English. Right? That's regular words. Easy. How do I translate that, though, into math? To do that, I need to write down how many fingers were in each hand. So my first guy had five. You're writing what I have in black. My second hand had another five. My third hand had another five. My last hand another five. And you already told me 
three skip counting. That's five plus five plus five plus five. Is twenty. That right there, that equation, that's math language. So here's the long English version. Here's the short math version. But they're both talking about the same thing. This type of equation, when we skip count, like this, it's called a repeated addition equation. And I'm going to pause so you can get caught up in your notes, but that's what that is called. big piece of paper and you're going to split it into four sections. I want you on the next blank page to do that. To so turn to the next blank page in your notebook and split it into those four equal sections just like I have on my board. Ready to done that? changing from red to black, but it is what it is. There are four friends wearing green boots. How many green boots are there? There are four friends wearing rain boots. How many rain boots are there? Yeah, what am I counting in this problem? Did you hear it? How many rain boots are there? I'm counting rain boots. I am now counting elephants. I am not counting people. I am not counting friends. I am specifically counting boots. Rain boots. Not the super cute boots that Miss T's got on. I want rain boots. Not rain boots. Okay, Is I'm gonna draw a picture of what that looks like. Well, I have four friends, so I'm gonna crank out some four super cute sick people. One friend. Two friends, three friends, four friends. They are on my friends. They look awesome. I'm an artist. I know. You don't have to pop over to me. But wait, Liam, am I counting friends? Mm -hmm. What am I counting in this problem? The counting friends. Am I counting friends? I'm going to read it one more time. Ready? There are four friends wearing rain boots. How many rain boots are there? What am I counting? You're, you're counting rain boots. I'm counting boots, not friends. These friends aren't wearing any boots. You mean rain boots? Specifically rain boots. Rain boot, rain boot, rain boot, rain boot. If you are a much better artist than me, go to town. What do you mean by that? I mean, if you can draw rain boots quickly and better than my circles, then go for it. But if circles work for you, I'll just put them in the middle. I guess on the table. Awesome. Alright. My next box is I need a repeated addition. 
definition of coercion. Actually, before that, I need to know how many groups I have. The length. do it in a different color just so you can see it. Obviously you're going to continue doing it in black. This friend, two boots. You can double check because you already told me that there are four groups. That means I should have four twos in this equation. Do I have four twos in my equation? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes. Then I've done it right. But now I need the answer. What is two plus two plus two plus two? Or four you know, count of two? If you need to skip count real fast, do it. Right Repeated addition equation. 